Number 29, the rate constant for the first order decomposition at 45 degrees Celsius of dinitrogen pentoxide, which is N2O5, dissolved in chloroform, which is CHCl3, is 6.2 times 10 to the negative fourth per minute, or minute to the minus one. And then they give us a balanced equation. So we have two N2O5 yields four NO2 plus O2. And then it says, what is the rate of the reaction when the concentration of N2O5 equals 0 0.40 molarity? Okie dokie. So let's gather some information, right? The, the main question is asking for a rate, right? So we need to know how fast this reaction is happening when we have a given concentration. Now I know that this is a concentration because I see brackets. Anytime that you see brackets around a compound or an element, it's gonna be concentration. And another uh, piece of information is that it is in molarity, that's capital M, and molarity and concentration are the same thing. So they gave us a molarity of N2O5. Now this whole mess up here seems like a run on sentence, but uh, it's not actually. <laughs> Um, the rate constant for the first order decomposition of 45 degrees Celsius of dinitrogen pentoxide dissolved in chloroform is. So basically, if we summed this sentence together, we could just pick the, the beginning and the end and mesh them together. The rate constant is this, right? All of this extra information is all nonsense, right? I mean, there's there's important information there, but this is basically describing what the reaction is. But at the end of the day, the rate constant is this value, and the rate constant is a K value. So we know a K value. And it's 6.2 times 10 to the negative fourth minutes to the minus one. Anytime that you have a unit that's in a negative exponent, this just means that it's in the denominator. So this is really one over minute, um, but okay. All right, so now we're gathering information. We're looking for a rate. We have a rate constant, which is K, and that's pretty much enough information that I need to pick out the formula that we're going to use. Generally, if they do give us a rate, or we're trying to solve for a rate, and they give us a K value, we're looking for the general rate law formula. And the general rate law formula is this right here. Maybe I'll, I guess I'll put this over here. This is generalized. We have to make it for our specific reaction. So in this case, our rate law would be the rate equals the K value, which is the rate constant. Now, I'm just gonna put a K here for now, but we know that we're gonna throw that value in for K. And now it's the concentration of who? Who is the reactant? The reactant in this case is the N2O5. You only have one reactant, so that's N2O5, and maybe I should make this blue. Okay, and now it's raised to the orders. Now, if we just read the question one more time, it says the rate constant for the first order decomposition. And if something is the first order, that means that this is raised to the first, number one. Ooh, so first order. Now this is where uh, we see that sometimes the orders are not going to be the same as the coefficients. If they do not state that this is an elementary step, which basically just means that it's one single step by its own. We have to assume that this is a, uh, a net balanced equation, which means that there could have been a few extra steps in here that we don't see because some of them are intermediates and, and catalysts, but we'll get there in you know later subjects. Um, so they do tell us that the, it's the first order. So what's my order? It's one, I'm gonna raise this to the first. Anything raised to the first is itself, so do we really need the one there? Nah. So now we're ready to just plug it in. They want us to find the rate, so rate equals the K value. We know what the K value is, 6.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. And then 
They told us the concentration. The concentration of N2O5 was 0 0.4. Okay. Let's figure it out. Rate equals 6.2. Second comma, that's times 10 to the, so I just say negative 4. And then I times it by 0.4. And everything looks good to me. All right, 6.2 times 10 to the, yep. Okay, so that's my rate, 2.48 times 10 to the negative fourth, and now I just need a unit. Just know that a rate unit is some type of molarity over a certain amount of time. It's the change in molarity over the change in time. We did use molarity here for our concentrations, so we definitely know that molarity is up there. And then we just gotta be careful as to what the time they gave us in. The rate constant has the time units. And in this case, since it's, uh, the unit is minute, this would be molarity per minute. And that is the final answer. So, oh boy, no. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't color the last answer in yellow. Mm -mm. That's, that's the least favorite. If, if I've used too much blue and too much green, the yellow's coming out. But yellow is always the last highlighter. I don't know why. Maybe I have a thing against yellow, but anyway, okay. Color it in beautifully and voila, all done. That's the answer. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for all your support and your kind comments. I love getting you know back to you when I can. Um, and I love reading your comments. So thank you so, so much and have a great day. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.